There was once a time when the Marvel Cinematic Universe was considered unstoppable, when they were basically the Roman Empire in Hollywood, where there was no chance of them failing, and it is crazy and insane to see how far and how quickly they have fallen when it comes to them being a studio as they continue to pursue and, uh, uh, and completely embrace radical ideologies and woke agendas in all of their films. And now we have some absolutely terrible news that we have to get into today when it comes to Marvel and the future of this company that is looking very very bad as they continue to push all of these insane ideas so quantumania and loki writers reportedly removed from avengers kang dynasty and avengers secret wars movies what this means is is that marvel studios has taken a look at some of these writers who are involved in some projects that have done very poorly when it comes to their reception and their success in the box office and their ratings such as quantumania and loki they have taken a look at these writers and they have completely cut them loose when it comes to them working on what is going to be one of the biggest films that they have worked on as far as a studio goes uh, since Avengers Endgame, Avengers Infinity War. So basically this is looking very, very bad for Marvel because they are seeing that everything that they are doing is continuing to backfire on them as they continue to pu uh, push insane agendas and put these terrible writers in charge of their properties. Ant-Man Quantumania is definitely up there as one of their worst written films of all time honestly this film felt like to me when i watched this film it felt like it was written by ai and that's how bad it was. It appears both of them might be out of their duties if the latest rumor is to be believed. This latest rumor comes from Scooper My Time to Shine Age on X. The user posted, no screenwriters will be hired for Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars until the strikes are over, but it should be Phil Lord and Christopher Miller. But this isn't going to fix anything in my opinion, okay? Because Marvel Studios is at a point right now where... They can let go of a couple writers, they can bring in some great writers like Lord and Miller, and it isn't going to actually fix anything. The only thing that can fix Marvel at this point, with how far they have fallen, with how terrible they have gotten as far as completely missing the, the target and the mark of making this universe completely sustainable after Avengers Endgame, they have gotten to the point now where it has gotten so bad that all they can do is give it a hard reset in order for them to continue to find some sort of success with the direction that they have gone. I mean, who are some of the people that are going to be part of the Avengers now? They have basically gotten rid of all of the OGs. So what what are we going to get now? Are we going to get, like, She-Hulk? Is she going to be leading the way when it comes to the Avengers moving forward? She-Hulk, Captain Marvel, Shang-Chi? Are these going to be the, the people that are going to be making up the Avengers now? You know what I mean? Ironheart, is that going to be one of the Avengers? Like, these are people that no one gives a crap about, okay? If they make the Avengers with these types of characters, it is not going to have the same success that it did with the previous Avengers films. So, and especially considering the fact that all of these films that they have been releasing on these characters have done very poorly because people don't give a crap about these characters, and especially with the direction that Marvel has taken this entire universe. So things are not looking good for Mar Marvel at that point, and this is very, very obvious with the fact that they are now at the point of letting go of these types of writers who have worked on already established films for Marvel, but have done very, very terribly. This is all shaping up to be a very, very bad situation for Marvel, and it's going to be interesting to see where all this continues to go, but let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.